in on those states and they were butchered they were killed unarmed men and women boys and girls who went to the church with the aim of actually worshiping god and that day they never went home today i am out again to remind the federal government and also Sokoto State Government. I am not asking you for justice because I know you will not give justice. All our leaders have been leaders of injustice, people who have no respect for credibility, for equality, for transparency, and also for credibility. Hello guys, hello people, my people, wonder shall never end. I go and make una watch this video from the beginning to the end, from this bishop, this one a real bishop. Make una watch with it, eh? I met Tinubu. I don't go just waste my time. As many of you know, my name is Jama First Lady. Like, subscribe, and drop your comments under the comment section below. Take your time, watch this video. The reason why we need Peter Obi, oh my goodness, I whip for Nigeria. Watch the video till the end, guys. Sometime this year, about two months ago, an innocent girl called Deborah Samuel Yakubu was murdered gruesomely in the Shehu Shagari College of Education. Up until this moment, we have never heard anything from the government of Sokoto State or the federal government. And at this point, Nigerians are summing up for another election in 2023. And there have been so many skirmishes and schemes that have been going on. Today, I carry this coffin on my head because I want to lay to rest Deborah Samuel, Deborah Samuel Yakubu, a student of Shehu Shagari College of Education in Sokoto. After that happened, some unknown gunmen were also found to have entered into a church, St. Francis Catholic Church, Owo in on those states and they were butchered they were killed unarmed men and women boys and girls who went to the church with the aim of actually worshiping god and that day they never went home today i am out again to remind the federal government and also Sokoto State Government. I am not asking you for justice because I know you will not give justice. All our leaders have been leaders of injustice, people who have no respect for credibility, for equality, for transparency, and also for credibility. Now we are faced with a situation where one of the parties is actually fielding a Muslim Muslim ticket. Why? And the most painful thing is that this same party has gone ahead to ensure that they hired some fake bishops. And today I come out as an archbishop to speak as the voice of the Christians of this particular generation in Nigeria. For we must not allow the high office of the prophet and the bishops to be insulted by men because of the greed 
of wanting to obtain power at all costs. This is wickedness and this is evil. It is an abomination of desolation. And today I speak the mind of God to all Nigerians who are watching me and are listening to me at this particular moment. A great abomination has been committed in our land. A great abomination has been committed in our country. When black bishops were being hired to come and show their presence as if to say Christians are given support for the Muslim ticket, ticket. I need you to know as you're watching me, you may not be able to open your mouth to speak the word or to say anything, but hear me and hear me well. I shall not keep quiet when the altar of Jesus is desecrated by some men. A lot of you might just think it is desperation. No, it is not desperation. What? Bala Ahmed Tunubu and Shetima D is desecrating the altar of the Most High God in Nigeria. They roast some bishops and put this garment on them and insulted the office of a bishop. The Bible said, whosoever desireth the office of a bishop desireth a good thing. And here I am today to say that what the APC leadership have done is an insult to the altar of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The sacred sanctity of the altar of Jesus Christ as I raised this coffin on my head to put an end to the death of the Bora Samuel Yakubu, a student of Shehu Shagari College of Education. And we must also put the record straight and put the records right with all the things that is happening and going on in Nigeria today. Nigeria cannot withstand another ruler who is actually sympathetic to all the evils and the ills that are happening in our nation. Therefore, I am on the street to let you know that every Nigeria must do everything that is possible to ensure that all these men with their money who think they can buy God with money because they feel money is alpha and omega but I want you to know that money is not the end of matter here I am today all those who are wicked and they are evil on this country the judgment of God will soon fall on you hear me and hear me well a lot of them say no these people are bishops you keep lying and lying and lying why would I hide myself if I am a bishop I will face the press I will tell the press the truth I will do exactly what I want to do hear me and hear me well this evil must stop this evil must stop the altar of Jesus in Nigeria cannot be desecrated right from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence neither the Sokoto state government or the federal government gave justice to Deborah Samuel and today whether you you like it or not, I will cause the powers of the spirit to ensure that the Buddha Samuel is given the justice that you require, the justice that you require. All the men, all the women, all the boys and girls who are able, who came around together to terminate her life, they must pay for it one way or the other. Look at it, the fake bishops that were invited and hired by the APC people. Those fake bishops, their faces appeared on camera and today we are able to identify them. We are able to know who they are. And here I am telling you that those who killed Deborah Samuel, their faces also appear on social media. And up till now, the federal government has not done anything in order to ensure 
that they punish the evil and the iniquity committed by some wicked people, killing Deborah Samuel gracefully and illegally and extrajudicially. Today, as an Archbishop, I am out to let you know that what Shetima and Tinubu of APC and the leadership of APC has done is evil, is blasphemous, it is an abomination. It is an abomination of desolation, an abomination of desolation, an abomination of desolation, and they must pay, they must pay, they must pay, they must pay. Nigeria cannot sustain a Muslim Muslim ticket. If it happened in Kaduna and nothing happened, it cannot happen in Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger than Kaduna State. Nigeria is bigger than Kaduna State. If Kaduna had a Muslim Muslim ticket and nothing happened, there is no way Nigeria as a nation can have a Muslim Muslim ticket and by the people, by the people's parliament, these people with a Muslim Muslim ticket, they stand disqualified. The race is no longer for them anymore. The race will now be race for other people. Why? Because they did not put the fate of Nigerians into their mind. They never thought about anything. They don't think about Nigeria. They don't think about the people. They don't think how it will affect us in a secular state. We cannot endure a Muslim, Muslim ticket. No way. It's impossible. And because of that, they are doing everything, everything, everything to make sure that Muslims continue in power. I have no problem with the religion. But all of us know that in the last eight years, there have been killings, there have been maimings, there have been kidnappings everywhere. Another one on the throne is going to be sympathetic to their work. We do not need negotiations now. We need elimination and termination of all those evils that has bedeviled Nigeria, bedeviled this country. Deborah Samuel needs to have judgment. And if we don't get the judgment now, we will get it anyhow. I am not. I am not appealing to the federal government. I am not appealing to the government of Sokoto State. I am telling you that whether you give a judgment or not, I will invoke powers that will come after the killers of Deborah Samuel. And for that reason, Nigeria cannot withstand a Muslim Muslim ticket any longer. No way. No way. You are saying there is no competent Christian in the north. And if there is no Catholic and Christian in the north, why did you go and hire fake bishops to attend the unveiling of the vice presidential candidate of the, of the APC? If Nigerian Christians or Northern Christians are not competent enough, it is you that is not competent. You are the one that is not competent. What has Kashim Shetima done in Borno State? This is a man that allowed the driving of terrorism in Borno State the way it is, killing innocent people anyhow. Today, I want to put to rest and I want to give her every serious instruction and assignment to go after her killers, after her killers, go after her killers. In the name of the Lord, judgment must come. Judgment must come. of me. This lady, Deborah Samuel, was great son Lebona in Sokoro State. Why this happened up until now, 
It's because of a statement that she made. Judgment has not been given at any cost or at any level. Hear me and hear me well. This is a coffin for Deborah. I am laying her to rest. I am laying her to rest. Because the federal government refused to do anything about those who killed this innocent girl. This innocent girl, a student of the Shao Shigari College of Education. What was her offense when they killed her? What did she do when they murdered her? In a land where we have law, in a land where we have constitution, in a land where there are men who have gone to school and read up to doctorate degree. And this girl was not given justice. Nothing happened to her. So Godot is quiet and her family have been left to bury their dead. Today I carry this coffin to show to all the people who are in authority to know whether you bury her or you don't bury her. They burnt her, cremated her body without the agreement of the family or neither did she say she wanted to be cremated. As I lay to rest, Deborah Samuel, I will say if federal government has refused to bring judgment, if the Kogoto state government has refused to bring judgment, then Deborah Samuel, go fight them, go anywhere, trace them in the classroom, trace them in their homes, trace them wherever they are, because you cannot get justice from the government that is in power today. They have covered up everything that is wrong. And I want to say to Nigerians who are watching me, listening to me right now a muslim is actually in power he knows what has happened she is she is innocent in the eyes of the law except proven guilty the law did not prove her guilty before she was murdered and as story had it they actually took her away from the hands of security officials in the show shagari college of education not only that they beat her to death but they also Want her to ashes and everywhere is quiet 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 nobody is talking nobody I will not be quiet Nigerians must fight to get justice for Deborah Samuel because if justice is not given to Deborah somewhere, it may be your sister tomorrow, it may be your son tomorrow, it may be your daughter tomorrow. I stand as an archbishop and I say here today, I am not appealing to the government of Nigeria. I am not appealing to the government of Sogodo State because you had enough time to ensure that those who committed this grace of activity be brought to law or brought to book. The law did not condemn her. She is therefore innocent and they killed an innocent person and nobody said the word. And here we are, faced with another trouble and another crisis. The APC ruling government decided to throw away caution to the wind. They say Christians in the north are not competent. They say Christians in the north cannot rule as vice presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, where you have people like Pastor Osibanjo and other great northerners who are Christians who could take over from him. But instead, what did the man do? What did Tinubu and Shetima do? They went out to hire bishops, and these bishops were they sold their master. When I say hire bishops, they did not just hire original bishops. They hire the fake bishops. And I have read over the news and over the paper that all the people that came were true bishops. They just came to support them. When we all know now that you paid them 30,000, 40,000 to do the job, anybody that desecrates the altar of Jesus Christ in Nigeria, you will not find peace. You will not find peace. You will not find peace. Your entire generation.
nation will suffer for desecrating the altar of Jesus Christ. Nigerians may look at it as just a desperation. No, Tinubu and Shetima are not desperate. They have crossed the line. I am not facing them, but I am saying what they did is evil. Nobody can do this to Muslim. Nobody can can impersonate Muslim Imams and go free. Today, churches would have been burning in Kano. Churches would have been burning in Sokoto. Churches would have been burning in Katsina because somebody has committed an evil. These two men and their leadership of their party, they committed evil. I call it the scene of abomination, of desolation. Shatima and Bola Bula Ahmed Tinubu committed the sin of abomination, of desolation, abomination, of desolation, and all of them who commit abortion or abomination, you are on your way to hell. Enough is enough. Why do you desecrate the priesthood? Why do you desecrate the office of a bishop? In Timothy, in the Bible, he that desireth a good thing, desireth, he that desireth the office of a bishop, desireth a good thing. Woe unto them that call it good evil and call it evil good. Oh my God, you say these people, they are bishops. That's what you call them? Bishops? Okay, I am going to shock you Nigerians. Anywhere you are, watching me and listening to me right now, I am going to prove to you that these people are fake. They are no bishops. The office of the bishop has been insulted. The office of the priesthood has been insulted by Tinubu and Shatima and the leadership of APC. In the name of the Lord, any man that desecrates the temple of God, shame will cover you as a garment. 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 You shall wear shame in the morning. Wear shame in the afternoon. Wear shame in the evening. Wear shame all through your life. Let me show you. Let me show you. A man who had worked for me for over 10 years and was shown the way out was one of those that was hired as faith bishops and the campaign organization and Tinubu and Shepima have said that this is not true. What do you mean this is not true? Here it is. See where he went to hide? Behind the black and the purple. Behind the black and the purple. Where you see the arrow. That is Pastor David Obi. He worked with me for a long time. All the way from Bida to Lagos. Before I transferred him to Ilori and severed him from the ministry. Pastor David Obi is not a bishop. Look at it. I will give you a clearer picture. I just wanted you to see. See. From this photograph, you cannot locate him. No, you can't. Oh, all of you that desecrate the office of the bishop, fire will come after you and your family. Your entire generation will suffer for desecrating the office of a bishop. I am an archbishop and I will not sit by for you to climb the altar and defecate on the altar. Enough is enough. And who will these kind of leaders become? If they become leaders, what kind of leaders they will be? Liars. Deceptive liars. Shatima and Tinubu have committed the greatest offense against the altar of Jesus Christ. And as a spokesperson of Jesus, as the voice of the Lord, I will bring you to your evil. And I say, all Nigerians should listen and hear that not only that these people are greedy and desperate, but they have committed the sin of desecration. And they will not go unpunished. Shatima, you will not go unpunished. Tinubu, you will not go unpunished. Insulting the office of the bishop. You went and hired them. This 
not somebody told me I know him you want to see it come and see look at him in the midst of the bishops so if the photograph is there you will see that is hidden zoom it expand it that is him between the black and the purple I know him I am not talking of somebody that is not known Tinubu hired him LPC hired him and they came and betrayed their master for a parcel of 30,000 and 40,000 and we talk about Judas Iscariot. All of you that wore the garments that is not for your office, you will receive the judgment of God for what you did. Because you allowed yourself to be induced and allowed the man to commit an abomination of desolation and a blasphemy. Tinubu will never see that seat at all. For insulting the sensibility of the Christian altar. I wanna no way anybody that commits an abomination must eat the fruit of an abomination shame will cover you shame will cover you oh lord god to whom vengeance belongs oh god to whom vengeance belongs show yourself show yourself let me give you let me give you a clearer picture now this is him alone that is the same man that is the same man i am standing here to let you know that god is angry god is terribly angry with 